Yeah, I'm going to Thanks very much. Yeah. So, Mike, the question everyone's probably going to ask you. We're not ready. Hold on. Sorry, mate. We're not ready. Yeah. Ready? Come on. So, Mike, the question everyone's going to ask you is you're very disappointed. Do you, re do you feel like a lot of people may have thought as well that you won that fight tonight? Yeah, obviously, I'm going to have a biased opinion. I need to watch the take back. Um, I thought I had won the fight. And, but you know, in the third round, I took my foot off the gas because I thought I'd won it. I coasted the first, third round, so fuck me for doing that. Um, my my instinct when he was he was cut for credit to him, he was still coming trying to trying to push the pace. My instinct was I wanted to stand and have a fight with him, but my brain was like, you've got it in the bag, dance it off and and, and win a decision. So serves me right because that isn't that isn't really my philosophy. Um, about fighting, treated it too much like a sport. Um, having said that, I wasn't totally happy with my performance. I should have done more damage in certain spots and taken advantage of the dominant positions I had. Um, but I do think I did enough. Um, yeah, but that's that's the game. What were your thoughts on the judge giving Fabian 30-27? Yeah, that, that, that... I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't understand the 30-27. I, I don't know what fight they were watching um, but again yeah I don't I don't want to be going to the judges anyway and if I'm going to go to the judges I want there to be a bloody mess in front of me so um, credit to Fabian as well obviously as you all know we're not I don't like the guy but he did show he's uh, he's the real deal he's a real fighter and he, he, he went out and trying to trying to push the pace trying to win the fight I don't think he did but obviously the judges uh, two of them saw differently you look like, you look like you were looking to sort of close the distance and sort of smother his strikes, mm. certainly through the first two rounds and you were wearing on him quite a lot against the cage. Was that a, a, a main part of your game plan, try and sort of sap the energy and look to get him later in the fight? Yeah, well, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to put that pressure on him and, and, and be inside that, that kick range. I, I think I, I dealt with the threat of his kicks well. They, they, weren't, they didn't bother me. Um, his, his backhand uppercut landed a couple of times, which, which annoyed me. I think I should have been more confident with my own hands in the pocket instead of maybe I smothered him too much. I could have done more damage with my own hands in the pocket, uh, rattled off some shots of my own, and that would have made me look, maybe, I'd need to watch it back, but maybe that would have made me look more aggressive, more dominant. Um, Does the fight need to happen? Does the rematch need to happen immediately? Like, do, you, do you feel as though that's something that, because a lot of people are complaining and saying it was very close, do you think that the, the right choice next is to do it again? I, I'd love that rematch. Um, I think Fabian might have even asked for that rematch as well. Um, whether Bellator allows it is, a, is, a, is another thing, but I think I overheard David Green saying that it's, it's on the cards. Um, obviously, yeah, the next fight would be great. Um, depends what the fans' appetite for that is. But yeah, I, I, <laughs> that's a, that, the, I, the list, unfortunately, the list of people I need to get back has grown by one. So I've still got to get Costello, and now I've got to get Fabian as well. Um, not what I wanted to happen today. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that's life. Would you go to Birmingham for that, given that this one happened in London? Yeah, of course. I'll go to Birmingham. I, I just, I'll, I'll fight him anywhere. I'll fight, <laughs> I'll fight him in the Arctic. I'll fight him in my back garden. I, just, uh, I think it does need to happen. Um, yeah. I know you guys don't like each other, but where, are you kind of happy with how much interest you've drummed up here? I mean, everybody was talking about this fight. I mean, a lot of people felt it was the fight of the weekend, which was the, you know, the anticipation. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> like, yeah. I, we, we don't like each other, we, we, we conduct ourselves very differently, but I understand what he's doing, and you know, it, it worked. It, it, it takes two to tango in it, and it, and it, made, a, it made a good spectacle. Um, and like I said, he's, uh, as, as much as we, we don't wanna get too soft, but as much as we like, we disagree and stuff, like he did show he, he, he can fight today. Um, so I, if, I need to step up. I don't want to be going to the judges again when I fight him. Mike, did you, you said... Did you see uh, the judges' scorecards at all, Michael? I didn't, know. Can I read them to you? Yeah. Um, but if, you, if you want it, if you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've heard it's a 28... Well, I've got them here. Ben Cartledge, 27-30, mm -hmm. uh, gave all three to Fabian. Uh, Sal DeMarto... Who wants to say that name again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's not staying in the Hilton. Let me, yeah. my, let me go Facebook up and see what I can uh, you, find You know Ben, he's ben got a large beard, he's, very, he's a very nice man. He doesn't sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, Gary, 
<laughs> to be honest, to talk to that was Ben Cartlidge. Then um, Ben Cartlidge. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want Fabian next fight. I want Ben Cartlidge. <laughs> <laughs> then Fabian. Sal Tomato scored it 29-28 uh, to him, and he gave the first and the third rounds to him, and the second to you. And Dave Torelli gave it to you. 29-28, giving you the first and second rounds, but not the third. How do you see that? See that we have one sensible man out of three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you feel well, like you were robbed in a way? I, yeah, I'm, I, I don't want to be a bitter, like one of those bitter guys. Hey, you always see it after, after a close decision. Like, oh, I won the fight, I won the fight. Obviously, I need to watch it back again. I think I won the fight. I, 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 but like I said, Serves me right for trying to coast that last round. I thought I had it in the bag. I should. That, that's not my style. I want to be. I want to be looking to finish fights right up until the last bell. So, um, in a way, serves me right. At the same time, yeah, I, I think I won that fight. I need to watch it again. You Mike, you've been putting a lot of work promoting that fight. Um, doing a, all the walk, walk, walk and talks with the likes of Mr. A. Davis over there, mm -hmm. and, and doing a lot of a lot of extra media that most. That wasn't work, by the way. That was, that was a pleasure. Going for a strong with you. <laughs> Um, but how much how much did you enjoy that side of the sport? Because it's, it's it's up a level from perhaps what you've had to deal with in the past. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, I, I did enjoy it. To be honest, it's, it's, it, I, li I like getting a, a, a feel for my opponent. To be honest, I'm not a big I'm not a big online trash talker, and um, <laughs> it's not it's not my style. I don't like I I need more of a probably online presence. But I like being in someone's. I like it face to face. It's more real. I, I don't like this this keyboard business. Um, so maybe people assume I'm, I'm a bit meek or uh, I'm, not, I'm not about it, but I, I like to be face to face with someone. I like to see when my words land and, uh, and, and get a vibe off them. So yeah, I did. I, I was surprised how much I did enjoy it. Hi, so I came out with a massive uh, fan eruption for you. We also saw the support you got after the scorecards were out. What's it like having that support there for you? Yeah, it's great. It's uh, obviously gutting to, I don't want to say let them down because, you know, but it's, it, yeah, it, it's great to have them there, but also, yeah, got into to yeah, let them down. <laughs> um, obviously, you are not keen on each other, um, yeah. but what's your feelings, obviously, now? Because we did, obviously, see some of your teammates as well be very unhappy about the results. Mm. Uh, what, what's your stance on, on the way things have been left? Do you have more respect for Fabian now that you've been in there, or, or is there still that rivalry between you? Of course there's a rivalry, but... Um, to be completely honest with you, I do have more respect for him now. Um, from, I, I didn't, I, I, I think he showed more character than, than, than what I gave him credit. Um, he, he, he was trying to push and win that fight right until the last bell. Um, yeah, but like you see, you don't have to like someone. <laughs> you, you need rivals, you know? Um, it's, it, it's important, it, it, lets you, it lets you know who you are. Um, I don't have to be his mate, and I'm not, but yeah, he, he, he fought a good fight. Not quite good enough in my opinion, but obviously. And you show that at the end of the second round, because you, he didn't uh, re reciprocate, but you, you put your hand up as if to fist bump with him at the end of the second. No, I wasn't looking to fist bump at the end of the second, no. Uh, at, at the end of the fight, at the end of the third, we did a little one. Um, but at the end of the second, no, I, it, I think you must have been mistaken or, or misread a, a gesture. Because okay. I was, <laughs> I, I was in the fight and I, I wanted to go, but I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to be pals with him. No. Mm -hmm. I, I know you obviously are not responsible for your team, um, but do you have any thoughts or any kind of? Uh, Uh, I didn't see what happened, but um, do you want to explain to me? I don't, I don't uh, well, we uh, had a couple of guys just kind of storm through. It looked like they were trying to get to maybe Fa uh, Fabian's team. Uh, I don't like there was a little bit of a, a scuffle. Maybe. I, maybe not my team. Five or six guys rushed Fabian. the media area and jumped the railings. When Fabian, when Fabian jumped the cage, they obviously thought they were jumping. He was jumping oh, into your teammates, and up. three of your guys, a few guys, yeah. jumped over and okay. knocked a lot of stuff over. That sounds like a, that sounds like a, a, a misread of, of intentions. Fabian was celebrating, um, and as you kind of saw throughout the week, we've all got each other's backs. 100% at shoot fighters, so um, they they wouldn't have been trying to stick on him because of the decision. They must have misread the uh, misread what he was doing. They must have yeah. thought he was coming to try and start something. Um, and if 
yeah, it's just a miscommunication. And if that was the case, then they would have deserved it. <laughs> but it wasn't, so nothing happened. So I'd say it was fair. Speaking of earlier, like earlier in the week, and you're talking about the tensions, you were right there when all that incident went down with um, Mike Kimball and, and James Gallagher. Did, can you yeah. shed any light on what happened there? Because we've only really heard James and sort of the story. Um, yeah, well, like, well, they, obviously they've got some they've some stuff going on. Uh, those two. Um, the first thing I saw was uh, Gallagher coming out swinging, and then I saw Paige getting a hold of him. I saw someone behind Paige. I, I saw Paige had that under control. I saw someone behind Paige. I didn't even know who it was, but I was like, I better take care of that. Grabbed it. Turned out it was Kimball trying to get to Gallagher. So I was like, okay. So we, we kind of separated that. So, um, and then that kind of. What I didn't like was that Gallagher knows that Paige is just holding him. He's just trying to defuse it. And then you see him getting double and hooks and trying to like throw him around, just trying to trying to throw his weight around a bit. Paige is cutting weight and he's fighting the next day. Like, it's not about you right now. And like, th th those two have an amicable relationship. They, they talk to each other. I, I talk to him all the time. Like, why why are you acting out like that with, with, with Michael? I, you, you have a problem with, with someone else. Why are you acting out like with Michael? And that was what really nearly tipped over the boiling point as well as when he came back and he picked up a glass off the table because then obviously we're trying to separate it Kimball's our guest Kim Kimball, Kimball's with us now so you know just ha I have to respect that Kimball's behind us we, we, we keep, we're trying to keep it all calm and he comes picks up a glass there's three Gallagher of us picks up a glass. yeah three of us are fighting the next day so he didn't throw it or anything but just that gesture it's 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 unacceptable and then that kind of I don't know what his intentions were he put it back down but that's kind of what what elevated it to a to a thing so hopefully Hopefully we can get those guys to just just squash it amongst themselves. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it will it will have blown up more to more than what it was. Heat um, the yeah, well, I don't think it was heat at the moment. I, th I think I think it's been boiling for a while, and he wanted to get get one over on 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 Kimball, um, rightly or wrongly. But there's a time and a place, and if you're if you're on good terms with us, you have to respect the fact that he's he's our guest, and also we've got other shit to worry about right now. We don't want to be dealing with your nonsense. We don't want to be getting cut before our fights and not getting paid. We, we, we don't want to be brawling with, with with your dad and your teammate in a, in, a, in a fucking media day. It's ridiculous. So it's just, we, yeah, hopefully those two squash it amongst themselves. Um, yeah. Talking okay. about squashing the Last beef. Last one. Talk about squashing the bee. Obviously, the rivalry will live on clearly between you and Fabian. And mm. there, there were instances in the week where you needed to be kept apart. And, if you're back at the hotel bar tonight and you happen to cross paths with Fabian, is it going to be a sort of a knowing glance and a, a, perhaps a little bit more uh, calmness and respect between the pair of you and there won't be any any flash points as a result of the fact you've been in there, you've spent 15 minutes in there? Yeah, the fight's done now. Like, oh, <laughs> obviously, like, I'm, I'm, I've got no... Uh... I've got no ambition to fight him outside the cage. I want to fight him in the cage again. I, I, think, I think he's a professional, he's the same. Um, Obviously, <laughs> so I don't think it's that character. Obviously, if something comes out of someone's mouth. Who knows? But as far as I'm concerned, let's keep this keep this rivalry going. We'll we'll, we'll do it in the cage again. It's just I'll, yeah, it, it, it's uh, it's it's in cage business.